G for Dr. Frank Field with weather. Good evening, everyone. There is agony in the aftermath of a gas explosion tonight. A frantic rescue effort is underway at a demolished restaurant in Derby, Connecticut. At least two people are still trapped beneath the debris. So far, 16 have been counted among the injured. Channel 2's Jane Mitchell was there and shares the story and the worry of local officials. Tonight, it looked as if a bomb had been dropped on the small town of Derby outside Bridgeport. Suddenly, at about four this afternoon, an explosion ripped through the River Restaurant here. I thought it was an earthquake. The building I was in shook. What is now twisted metal and scattered brick was a four-level Italian restaurant run by the Ippolito family. It's on the main street, and when it happened, it was open and doing business. Uh, when we pulled up, it was just an incredible scene. Uh, there were people lying outside the building. There were still people inside the building we had to pull out. No one knows exactly why or how it happened, though fire officials say it apparently involved a natural gas leak or rupture. At least a dozen people, possibly a lot more, were in the restaurant eating and drinking when the blast hit. At least 16 people were hurt, with injuries ranging from sprains to major burns. And the guy pulled out first had broken legs. He couldn't move his legs. And then the woman was, she had a bad cut across her face. And then the, uh girl about 30 blonde we helped her out as late as eight tonight at least three people were still trapped deep in the rubble they were identified as the owner's sister the owner's son and another boy in his teens who was working in the kitchen we're in the process of rescuing one of those boys right now and we do have visual and hand-to-hand -hand contact with him we've managed to dig in that far two are trapped in the, the back of the building in the kitchen area which uh, has had two floors collapse on it just 20 minutes ago, it was reported one was freed. The explosion happened at about 4 o'clock this afternoon, but by 8 o'clock tonight, workers were still unable to stem the flow of natural gas that was pouring out of a broken main in the center of the rubble. That gas was flowing into sewers and creating the possibility of other explosions. That's why they evacuated this entire neighborhood. The state fire marshal plans a major investigation into how all this happened. But tonight, the major concern is not how or why, but simply getting everyone out. Jane Mitchell, Channel 2 News, Derby, Connecticut. We'll be going live to Derby for an update on this developing story a little later on in this broadcast. And on Long Island, a four-alarm fire in a furniture store is... Train Derby, Connecticut. At least two people are trapped, several others injured. We're going to go live now to Michael Hill of WFSB-TV, who is above the scene in a helicopter. Michael, what's the latest? Michelle, authorities say they have one fatality, an individual pulled from the debris earlier. Authorities believe at least one to three people may still be trapped in the rubble. As you see here, they're still battling two levels of burning rubble, and they're going on the assumption the victims are still alive. The firefighters anticipate they'll be here throughout the night. However, some evacuees have, give, have been given the okay to return home. Governor William O'Neill has been on the scene offering state assistance as the firefighter and the investigation of the 4 o'clock explosion continue. Michael Hill reporting live for WCBS. Roland and Michelle. Thank you, Michael. Mr. G is next with the weekend forecast that looks a lot like a